hi and welcome back to Cindy's Crafty Corner for July. I hope that you had a great 4th of July and um, for the July craft I didn't pick anything for 4th of July because it's a week later but um, I did pick this which I think is really cute and um, a great little desktop companion. It is a tiny terrarium so I'm gonna hold that up a little closer so that you can see. There are plants and rocks and soil. So uh, what this is, or you may ask, what is a terrarium? So a terrarium is a glass container that has plants and soil that creates a mini ecosystem, or it's an indoor garden. So um, one of the things that it does is it has a cycle of, of moisture that rises and falls in it to keep the plants watered so like our own ecosystem um, the moisture rises during the day and then when the temperatures are cooler it falls so inside a terrarium you have plants that would create that water vapor so um, in during the day the plants release water vapor and then the vapor collects on the sides of a jar which is why a terrarium has to be in a glass jar and then it falls back into the soil to continually water the plants inside a terrarium so the longest lasting terrarium um, did not need to be watered and sustained itself for 53 years so um, it's pretty amazing how this little ecosystem works so I'm going to show you how to make one of your own. Okay, so let's get started on the tiny terrarium. So for the terrarium, you would need a glass jar. Um, it needs to be glass and it needs to be clear glass because um, if you do put plants in there, the sun needs to be able to get through. If it's colored glass, it wouldn't sustain the plants as well. There are some little wood chips. This is all in the kit. If you're interested in picking one up at the library, this um, this time I'm not going to be doing a sign up for this craft. I'm actually going to have everyone pick it up uh, first come first serve at the reference desk. Um, so the other items you would need for this are some decorative rocks. I have some moss. There are three different colors here of moss. Some small gravel and some potting soil. And then the last ingredient that I have here is activated charcoal. And the activated charcoal actually helps to purify the water that is created by uh, the plants and the water vapor. So this is an essential key ingredient if you want to have a closed terrarium. So to make this terrarium, we're gonna start off with the activated charcoal. So I'm going to pour some of that into the bottom of the jar. And again, of course, the, this all these all these items are in the kit. If you wanted to pick one up at the library, it's free. So I'm just going to put a little layer there of the activated charcoal in the bottom and just kind of even it out. And because this jar has a wider mouth on it, it's easier to work with the jar. So when you're making a terrarium, a terrarium you would like to have um, a wider mouth uh, glass container just so that you can more easily arrange what's inside. So this is a very small version. If you were making a bigger version, you would add some more of this type of gravel at the bottom for drainage for roots for your plants. But in this case, this is so small, we're just putting the activated charcoal and then I'm adding the topsoil in. And it's okay to get messy with this project. <laughs> so this is so small again, it's, it's easy to just kind of shake it so that it's even. Um, and then what I like to do is create a little bit of a, a hill. So I like it to be taller at the back just for interest and then lower in the front for when I add my decorative pieces. So the next thing that I'm gonna add is just some of this small gravel, just so that it looks like you're walking on a little outdoor path in the woods. Just put the small gravel there. And then I, I like to put the 
uh, moss in the back and I have the, the three colors so I'm just gonna place them where they have the most interest here and then your front your rocks go down in the front here so this is really just a matter of, of putting things where you like to see them just creating your own little garden really uh, th these are some little pieces of wood that are included in the kit and you can just put those in there where you like and in this kit I did not include succulents just because I wouldn't have been able to keep them alive but I would recommend buying a tiny you can buy little tiny succulent plants and um, succulents do not require a lot of water so if you did put one in at this point, this you can have it this way and just enjoy how it looks and the moss will stay uh, alive in there. And if you wanted to, you could add that succulent. So if you put the succulent in at this point, you would spritz some water in there. It's not necessary uh, with just the moss. There is some moisture in the soil. Um, but with the moss, you don't need to add anything else. But if you were adding a succulent, you would plant that before you put your decorative items in and then put your decorative items around that. Um, and then give it a little spritz of water before you sealed the jar. And that would be all that it needs because then it would be creating that ecosystem where it would water itself. So at this point, it's just a little decorative jar that you can put on a windowsill or you can put that on your desk just to have a little of the outdoors inside. So that is it. That is how you make a tiny terrarium. I hope that you enjoyed making this craft or that you will make one of your own. And of course you can make them in all different sizes um, and add many different plants if you choose. And as always remember to read and come into the library. The library is open. You can get on a computer. You can browse the stacks. Um, come on in, get some movies, and we'll see you soon. I will see you again at Crafty Corner for the August craft. Have a great day.